Hi, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? How are you? How have you been? I missed you. Where were you? We have this week another weekly reading vlog. <laughs> this vlog, I'm gonna warn you right now, it's a little bit depressing. I was editing it yesterday and it like ends on a bleak note. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I did read two thrillers this week, which is crazy for me because usually I don't really read that much. <laughs> Maybe I do actually. Anyway, I did read two thrillers, so let's talk about them. First thing I read was The Last Word by Taylor Adams. I literally cannot find my copy of it anywhere. The moment I finished filming this vlog, no idea what happened to it no idea in case you don't know it's about this girl i think her name is emma emma is house sitting at this like just like regular regular sort of house i think it's like on a beach or something too and she has a neighbor across the way and they both like write messages to each other because they both have like telescopes or whatever her neighbor whose name is deke is like hey you should read this book she does she like reads it in one setting because it's like 99 cents on like on like the amazon kindle she hates it, hates it. So right after she's done, she gets on her little iPad or whatever, and she writes a review, just being like, this is literal trash. I hate every moment of this. I just, I want to die after reading this. Like, it's disgusting. And she questions whether or not she should post this like very, very harsh review. But in the end, she does, she posts it. Then the author replies and is like, take down your fucking review. How dare you? You don't know what this could do in my career. As if she's like some kind of like big hot shot or something, but she's really not. She's just like a random, regular, regular, everyday kind of person. Emma is like, mm, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. And so then he's like, take it down or else. And she's like, or else what? Like, please, as if I'm not taking it down. After that, he's like, well, you're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it a lot. While Emma is house sitting at this house in the middle of nowhere, all alone, maybe this author decides to take his revenge. Maybe. After that, I also read Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. This is about a girl named Daisy, duh. She's having like a family reunion for the first time in like ever, forever. Like it's been years since she's seen her family, like her sisters and her parents even, even her grandmother. But then people start dying. And Daisy is like, what the f is going on? And there's like this whole riddle, this whole like poem, uh, limerick <laughs> situation going on. That's like, everyone's going to die. Blah, 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 blah. So Daisy has to like figure it out. So I also read this. This vlog is a little bit shorter than the rest of them, though it's a bit shorter than what I'm used to, to be honest. But I hope you enjoy it nonetheless, and I, uh, I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget also to hit subscribe, okay? And don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media, like Instagram and, oh, and TikTok. I'm also on TikTok. I don't post, but I'm there. Let's roll the clip. Let's roll the clip into this reading vlog. Okay, thank you so much, Devin, for for all of this. It's like, it means a lot. I was a bit hesitant with Jeremy, like, especially cause like, I feel like, I feel like if I approached him and I was like, you need to leave, like you're fired, like for real, I feel like you would have had a break and I just, I couldn't take that. So I'm just glad that you're here and that like, you know, this is gonna work out. I really, I'm really glad. But finally, we have, we have an ex, we have, we have an expert, uh, Devin. So go ahead, Devin, roll the clip. Devin, what do you mean? Roll the clip, Devin. <gasps> Jeremy. <gasps> Hi, welcome to this weekly reading vlog. How are you? How's it going? It's currently 10 p.m. on Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I've just been feeling very like sluggish today, but I figured I should update you and let you know what's been going on with me. I'm currently reading The Last Word by Taylor Adams and I am 76 pages into it. I'm gonna talk about this in a second, but right now I just also wanna talk about what I've done. Sam is gonna be here in three days, which is absolutely wild. She's gonna be here on Friday and I'm having my housewarming party on Saturday. And so I really wanted to finish 
my gallery wall and also do a few things to my dresser. If you watch my apartment tour, I'll link it down below. I mentioned that I wanted to sort of DIY the dresser because it didn't match the rest of my furniture. I did something to it. I'm gonna insert a clip to show you what it looks like. But basically the vinyl that I bought last week, I put it on the front of the dresser. I'm also gonna put it on the top. I just need to buy more vinyl because I, I ran out. I am obsessed, obsessed Tiffany with how it looks. It looks so good. I really, really love it. Um, I think it's perfect. I, I think it, it matches the vibe and I think it's gonna look even better when I do the top of it. I was also worried because like when I had the other vinyl that I put on my desk, it would like rip really easily and there were like a ton, a ton of air bubbles and like, it just, it looked like crap. And so I was like really worried, excuse me. I was really worried about the dresser and how it was gonna look, if it would like look good even. And to my beautiful satisfaction, it did. And then the day before that, I think I'm basically done with my gallery wall. I might add a few more things. Like I added a bunch of frames with like photos or pictures that I found on Pinterest that I just printed or things I already had just just because I had them for some reason. When I bought the mirror, I also bought like the shelf that came with it. Like it's like literally like a matching set. Didn't want to put the shelf up because I was afraid that um, it was going to be too heavy or something. After hanging a few things and realizing how strong command hooks are, or command tape is, I tried out the shelf and it literally, it sticks. And I even put like books on it, didn't fall, didn't break, nothing. It's like very sturdy. So I think it looks so good. I think I'm gonna put maybe like candles on the shelf or something, or maybe I'll just put books, I don't know. I also put books on my TV slash dresser stand thing. I also really love the last word. In this, we have our main character, Emily or Emma, and she is house sitting, right? This random person is like almost stalking her and seemingly getting into the house. By the there's a dog outside that's like barking. There's a lot of dogs in my in my area. Um, so there's always like, always a dog barking. And like, I get it, like they're dogs, but also at the same time, like it sounds like the dog is either on a balcony or like in someone's apartment, like alone. Like, anyway. It seems like this dude is like stalking her. So far, I'm only, like I said, like 75, 76 pages in. I am suspicious of Deke, her neighbor. But the main character is like, oh, he's he's too he's too small to fit the description, and oh, like it wouldn't be him, he's too old or whatever. And I'm like, that's suspicious. Because she also thinks that this writer is the one who's stalking her because she wrote a one-star review. And also, can I just say how cringy some authors are? Like it's just bad vibes. It's just bad vibes. Like she left a one star review for this book that she didn't like at all. The author was like, take down your review. Like you don't know what, like what this could do to my career, blah, blah, blah. As if this like one random review on Amazon is gonna like ruin his life, but like whatever. And she's like, absolutely not. I'm not doing that. Like you got to be like a big boy and like figure it out. Like, <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. He like vaguely like threatens her and she's like, whatever, loser. And then all this stuff starts happening. I feel like we're supposed to be like suspicious of the author, but her neighbor is also a writer. So I'm thinking either he's like the same person or it's like a red herring and it's like, and she's looking at the wrong author. She's looking at the wrong, at the wrong writer. But that's just my theory, I don't know. But what I will say is I really like the main character. Like she's not dumb, like, which I'm very, very thankful for. Cause I feel like some, I feel like some characters in thrillers, especially if they're like written by men, like some women written by men in thrillers, it's not great. They're like, they're like dumb. They're like, oh, let me live in this like really fancy apartment for, for forever and then ignore all the red signs. Ugh. Red signs, red flags. <laughs> I honestly don't even like remember if that's what the plot is. I just like didn't like that book. Anyway, I really like it and I'm excited to keep reading it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go cause I'm gonna keep listening to the audiobook. I'm gonna keep reading. I also need to tidy up this area cause it's a mess from last night when I was doing the dresser thing. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Bye, good night. I just wanna mention very quickly, cause I'm listening to the book, the author, the guy who's like, take down your one star review. He keeps calling women females. Stop. Honestly, I think it's a nice touch. <laughs> I think Taylor Adams knows exactly 
this guy. Like he knows what this man is about and he's nailing it so far. So props to him for getting the character so almost like caricature-y without being caricature-y because you know that this dude exists. Anyway, I just wanted to mention that because something that I'm noticing and like the more he talks, the less I like him, like at all. The more I'm like, we need to murder this guy. This guy needs to go. I also think it's kind of funny that like main character was like, this murder slasher book is like not realistic, blah, 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 blah. And I think it's funny that the author is like, no, well, let's have a little slasher moment then. Cause I think he's like trying to kill her. Um, and I think it's gonna be funny when she inevitably, I'm, I'm guessing, and she inevitably beats him and is like, told you so, bitch. <laughs> I hope that happens. I don't know if it will, but I hope it does. Anyway, I'm gonna go, okay. How nice, how nice is this backdrop though, by the way? Oh my God, like, oh, look how artful I am. Mm. Okay, I look gross, bye. <laughs> Wednesday. Crazy news. Crazy. It's crazy, Tiffany, but crazy news. I finished reading The Last Word by Taylor Adams last night. I literally read this in basically one sitting. It was so good. <laughs> it just takes me back to the days when like No Exit came out and everyone was like, oh my god, it's so good. Oh my. That's the vibe. By the way, if there's a like background noise, it's because my washing machine is going. And it's very loud, so I apologize for that. I tried to close the door, but I think you can still hear it. Anyway, this was such no exit vibes. Like, such no exit vibes. I think overall, I would give it maybe like four stars, maybe like 4.5 stars. Is this lighting crazy? This lighting may be crazy. I loved it because it's so fast paced, so like adrenaline inducing. Like there's so many moments where you're like, oh my God, no, this is crazy. Like. It's very, very fast paced. And I would say if you're in a slump, something like this could do you very good. The only thing, and I had the same problem when I read No Exit, is that the, the ending of the book is so drawn out. Like I feel like Taylor Adams loves to have a long, long resolution. The book ends, but then it doesn't end. There's more. And then you think, okay, that's the, and then no, there's no, there's more. Like, that happens two or three times <laughs> in the ending. And it's a bit much, it's a, it's a bit, it drags a little bit towards the end. But other than that, I love it. I love it so much, 10 out of 10. Also the, the bad guy, the like, you know, serial killer guy. Is he a caricature of incel culture, fedora wearing tips, my hat? Like, thank you, my lady. Is he a caricature? Yes. Was I living <laughs> for every moment of it? Yes. <laughs> like the fact, that, the fact that he was like, he's described as like, <laughs> as smelling of vape juice <laughs> and Mountain Dew. They literally describe him as smelling of vape juice and Mountain Dew. And if that's not the most beautiful thing I've ever heard, it's so good. By the way, I'm also sorry that if it's echoey, like I need to find a way to look sort of cushion these walls to make it less echoey. Cause I'm also the kind of person who just like yells, oh my cat's in the window. <laughs> Four stars, 10 out of 10. You should check it out, read it. Please, you're gonna love it. I bought this book last week because it was in store, even though it wasn't technically out yet. Like, and that's kind of like what I love about like my local chapters is they'll they'll put out books before the release date, even though I know for certain that they're like literally not allowed to, and that it's like very frowned upon. I was able to find a few days before release, Family Business by Jonathan Sims. I'm so excited. If you don't know, Jonathan Sims wrote 13 stories 
which was one of my favorite books of like 2020, 2019 or something like that. So I was like, I need to know when this guy is gonna release another book. Like I need to know. Show me the money, Jonathan. And he did. He showed me the money. I have no idea what this is about. It says just another dead end job family business. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm gonna start this today and start reading it. Then I also wanted to tell you that I want to start reading Marmalade Boy 1 and 2. Listen, these editions are stunning. I really want to see what they're all about. Sam is gonna be here in two days, right? Today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday. She's, she's gonna be here Friday nights, probably around like 11 or 12 at night. I have a few things left. I need to finish my laundry. I need to, yeah, last night I finally organized and put away all my stuff in the bathroom, which I didn't film for some reason. I don't know why I didn't film that. I should have filmed it, but I didn't. Um, and I also moved my toilet paper to the, to, to, to the laundry room. Cause somebody in my comments like a few weeks ago was like, was like, uh, you're stupid for not putting your tissues in the laundry room or whatever. And so I did that cause I was like, objectively you're correct. You just could have said it nicer. I need to sort of tidy up the library because I kind of have stuff everywhere in there. So I need to do that. So I'm going to film that. And I also, I also want to vacuum my apartment and clean up my kitchen just in general. Um, and yeah, so let's do that. Um, today is kind of like a little bit of a cleany day. And while I'm doing it, I think I might listen to uh, Family Business by Jonathan Sims, because I think that could be fun. Cool, good talk. Thanks for, thanks for listening to me ramble. Bye. <laughs>
of somebody reacting to Game of Thrones season one and season two. Like, I, it, his videos just like randomly popped up on my For You, or not on my For You page, it's not, it's not fucking TikTok, on YouTube, like on my recommended, and I was like, let's just check it out. Let me just watch it for like 30 minutes. I won't watch the full thing, that's crazy, because it was like three hours long. I watched all three hours, and then I was like, well, season two, here we go. <laughs> so that's what I did last night. And I didn't read anything. And honestly, I don't even feel bad. <laughs> I don't feel bad at all. I think maybe I'm gonna like DNF family business for, for now. Just because I'm not like, I'm not like feeling it. And I don't wanna waste my time on something that I'm not feeling at the moment. I'm gonna go back to it eventually. But for now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it aside. And I think I might move on to something else. Maybe Daisy Darker by Ali, Alice Feeney, which is something that I have been wanting to read. I I'm gonna let you go. Um, cause I have to start doing things and getting ready cause my friend is gonna be here in like 15 minutes. But um, I just thought, I just thought you should know. Cool. Bye. Quick update. Sam might be coming. It's literally been 10 minutes. So, but Sam might be coming now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's all very confusing and like, Ugh, it's like it's too it's honestly it's too early in the morning for something like this but if she does come she might we might not have the house warming oh this is bad lighting okay bye hi this is editing georgia line i just wanted to add a little clip in here just to add a bit of content because <laughs> i literally didn't even try to explain anything after that like i anyway anyway just so you're not confused um, Thursday, I wake up and Sam has sent me a message at like five o'clock in the morning being like, I can't come, blah, 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 you know? Um, and so I got really sad, really depressed about it. And then I messaged her back and then we talked and then we figured it out and, she, we, and the plan was back on. She was gonna still come for Friday, the next day. So I just wanted to come on here and just like make it clear or whatever. Um, as to like what happened because i feel like it's a bit confusing if you just like if you just go from like the thing where i'm like maybe i don't know and then you go directly to the next clip it doesn't make any sense so anyway i hope you enjoyed the rest of the vlog okay that's all i wanted to say bye 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 Sunken on my mind. finally not afraid to say it no it took some time used to read it in a press release what i was going through But I got stories too The fear of being last Like everybody knows when you don't If every feeling passed Then why am I still stuck with this one I should see
like 6 p.m. or something. It's honestly not been great today, to be honest with you. Yesterday was okay. Yesterday started out rough and then things got, you know, better. But today it's just like, it's just been awful, to be honest. And I kind of want the day to be over. I kind of just want to like lay in bed and die. You know what I mean? I'm like trying not to cry because I'm like really fucking upset, but... <sighs> anyway, so Sam can't, <laughs> can't come visit. Um, I know yesterday I was like, she can't come visit. Um, but this time she literally can't come because there's a lot of fires going around um, in my province. And so the roads and stuff are being blocked. And uh, so she can't come visit. I just feel really sad about it. How it could perfectly line up like this. Just like really excited to see her, you know? So well, that's disappointing. And then on top of everything else, <laughs> I have, um, <clears throat> I have my housewarming party tomorrow. Uh, which I have to like get ready for and like um like clean things up a bit and finish things. And I don't want I don't want to. <laughs> this this might be stupid. You're probably like, girl, grow up, like get out of bed you're fine and like i am so what's also really really annoying is like she can't just like wait a week and come in a week or whatever because she has like because her husband has like a job or whatever and like he can't stay with the kids or i don't even like i don't even know i'm just annoyed that other people have responsibilities <laughs> which makes which makes no sense it makes no sense like but anyway so because the scheduling on her side is so restrictive. She probably won't visit till August. I think what really annoys me about all of this is that like, is that like we had, is that like we had to wait until like the day before, like, or like the day of really. Today's, today she was supposed to visit today. Like she was supposed to be here tonight. I look so red and I'm so annoyed at myself for looking the way I look, like fuck. I have a breakdown on camera, Jordan, it's great. Literally the day that she's supposed to arrive and like, <laughs> today is the day that we found out that she couldn't come because the fucking buses weren't running. The, the tickets for all of the flights are ridiculously priced. They're all so fucking expensive. So. It's all just a bummer. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking about just like doing the things that we had planned to do anyway, you know? Just by myself, which sounds really sad. That sounds really sad. My camera's gonna die. The whole thing just fucking sucks, to be honest. I guess I should tell you about like what I read or whatever. So um, last night I started, and like you might remember, I started family business. I didn't feel it. So then last night I started Daisy Darker by, why do I feel like crying when I'm talking about this? I don't even know. I started Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney and I gave it um, four stars. I read the whole thing last night in like one sitting. I, I don't know what it is. Like lately I've just been zooming past, zooming through the books I'm reading. I don't know what it is. Four stars mainly because, and if you've read the book, you know what I mean? But I caught on pretty quickly to what was going on um, in the book, like the twist. Um, if you know, you know, if you don't, that's fine. I caught on pretty quickly. I like, think probably like page 80 or something. It didn't necessarily ruin my enjoyment of the book. I just spent the whole book noticing it though. It was just like certain things uh, with how it's written and certain things that the characters would say or do. I was like, oh, this is just like literally confirming everything that I already think. And then at the very end of the book, they like reveal it. And I was like, I literally read this whole book knowing exactly what was going on <laughs> in, in one case. Um, but I kept reading because I was interested in a lot of other things as well. Um, overall, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to give anything away. 
because I feel like it's the kind of book that's like super easy to guess or uh, this the kind of book that's super easy to spoil but I really enjoyed it and I would recommend it I think it was really really good the first like 10 pages I was like I don't know if I like this um, but after that a smooth sailing it goes by so quickly it goes by really really and it's really really fun I don't I just don't know what I want to read now I don't know if I want to read anything to be honest um, but I am going to leave the vlog here because I I don't want to look at the camera <laughs> anymore if I'm being honest with you Tiffany and I want to be honest with you I don't know if I want to like look at the camera <laughs> um I'm glad that I did read two books this week I'm happy for that um and I, I am excited for my housewarming party tomorrow I'm excited to make my my food and finish the games and stuff like that but also I just I have so much to do before that I, that I need to prepare so I'm gonna go do those things because I have to do them before tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, okay. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, Tiffany. I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to hit subscribe because we talk about spooky shit, talk about creepy shit. We cry over our best friends and shit. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.